Like, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just so delicious. That's all there is to say. You just have to trust us, and why wouldn't you? What's up, guys? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. Today is going to be the last soup of the season? Right? Probably not. What? I eat soup in the summer, too. No, I don't think I have any soups planned for the summer, so it's probably the last soup of the season. Enjoy You it. probably won't see another soup until September-ish. Yeah. Hope that's okay, but it's okay because we're ending- Oh, we didn't put any tofu on this. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like croutons now. Yep. But no worries because we are ending off on a really good oh, yeah. note. Yeah, it's really good. What you make today? Um, so we decided <laughs> we decided to revisit ramen. Mm -hmm. And I did a Thai coconut ramen. And guys, it is so good. It's like ramen is my favorite and I really like Thai coconut together. And yeah. Oh. It's so good. So it's oh. like a Thai curry coconut ramen, but it's like kind of a little thicker than a ramen would normally be. Mm -hmm. So it kind of coats the noodles and clings onto the noodles and they're so good. And then there's like crispy tofu and tons of vegetables in it. Guys, it's delicious. It's so delicious. So good. So let's show you Should how to make it. Do it. To make your Thai coconut ramen, we are first going to start by making some crispy tofu. We're using our air fryer for that, so we're just going to dice up some tofu and place that in an air fryer for, at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or until they're nice and crispy. While the tofu is getting crispy, we're going to work on our ramen. To do that, we want to saute a, red, a sliced red bell pepper in a little bit of water, about a tablespoon of water, in a big soup pot. After about one to two minutes of sauteing that, you want to add in your curry powder, lemongrass paste, ginger powder, and minced garlic. And then you're just going to mix and saute for another minute or two. Be sure to place the lid on every once in a while so that the steam can kind of really penetrate those peppers. All right, and once the garlic has kind of started to look like it's starting to cook, we're going to add in our coconut milk along with some water and our better than bouillon paste and stir that until it's all combined. So you don't want kind of like spots of everything, you want it all consistently one color and one texture. Then we're going to add in some dehydrated mushrooms and cook those for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they've softened. Finally, we're going to add in our ramen noodles and cook that for about two minutes before we add in some snow peas. And then right at the end, once that's all finished cooking, you're just gonna do a squeeze of lime, stir that all in so that you get that nice fresh of citrus and then serve that topped with our crispy tofu, some sliced green onions, and a little lime. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Um, we actually like, so we've eaten a full bowl of this already, each. Yeah. So a lot of our broth is gone already. Whoopsies. But, so that's why we're using forks. Yeah. We got too excited. We had to eat it right away, which we don't get to do very often. Yeah, it was still warm. It was weird. And it was so good that we both like polished it off. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to eat more because it's that good. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's still good cold. Yeah. The fact that it tastes so good cold means it could technically become a summer soup. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it could be meal prepped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It feels like we ordered Thai food last night and now we're eating the leftovers and it's still just as good, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like earlier we had it fresh and now we're having the leftovers and just like living our best life. I love this for us. We're having the leftovers three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> but like a lot has happened, so. Yeah. It really has. Mmm. Mmm, tofu so good. Mm-hmm. I am loving this. This broth is so freaking good. Yeah. I'm one of those people who's kind of notorious for, like, not finishing what they, they're eating. Oh, okay. Anything. And I, like, really 
Except for all the green onion. I finished Yeah, she didn't like the green onion as much. There's just too much green onion at once, you know? I could eat a whole, like, is it called a head of (laughs) green onion? A A bunch? To be fair to green onions, it's not specific to green onions. It's just onions in general. Poor onions. Sorry, guys. Onions are great. Mm Mm-hmm. I love you, onions. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It's just turned into a mukbang. Oh, it did! Look at that! <laughs> We're so into those lately. <laughs> we are so into eating lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. You should try it. I don't even want to talk. I just want to eat. I know. Guys, I think that speaks for itself. Like, this is actually the one thing that's so hard to describe how good it is. Mm-hmm. It's just so good. <laughs> and pretty simple. Yeah, it's actually very simple. I like that you used curry powder mm-hmm. instead of curry paste because that can be cheaper too. Yeah. That's important to me. Makes me like it more. And it's shelf stable. Yeah. Look at that. Guys, it's so good. <laughs> like, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just so delicious. That's all there is to say. You just have to trust us and why wouldn't you? I feel like it's like a perfect dinner because to me ramen's typically a lunch because it's not too heavy, but this one with the coconut milk makes it a little more heavier and I feel like it's a great dinner to have. That's interesting because I think of ramen as a dinner. Really? Because usually like if you go to a restaurant, they give you a pretty big portion. I guess I've never eaten ramen other than once at a restaurant. Most of the time I just make it at home. Oh, okay. So when I'm making it at home, it's probably a lot smaller yeah. portions. Because the one time I did have it at a restaurant, it was a huge right? ice bowl. So yeah, exactly. It was delicious. Yeah, you're gonna that's sleep what good. that's what made me love ramen because mm-hmm. the tofu was incredible, and they used that's where I discovered dehydrated mushrooms. All right. Was in that bowl of ramen. Magical moment. <laughs> yeah, ramen started it all. If you guys are ever in Montreal and Ramen Nine Thousand has a pop up, go to it because they have vegan ramen that is freaking delicious. Frickin. It's the best ramen I've ever had. Whoa. It's so good. I, I mean, have this. Hmm? Let's go to Montreal. Okay. <laughs> now, I got a question for this video. Me or for them? We. I want your answer okay. too. Care about your thoughts. Okay. Your feelings. Um, cold soups or chilled soups are a thing in the summer. Yeah. Right? Isn't it like gazpacho or something is chilled soups? Sure. I sure. Think. I don't know. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Are you into that? Not. Not really. Like. It's more, like, I'd rather have a smoothie. Well, that's what I was just thinking, like, because I picture a cold soup as being a creamy soup, so at what point does it just become a savory smoothie? <laughs> I, I think it is, even when it's warm. It's weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not huge on chilled soups. A lot of people like chilled cucumber soup, that's, which yeah. I could never, like, I cucumbers, I like to eat them, but even when I, like, juice them, when I was doing juicing at one point, like... It just tastes like water, like really weird tasting water. <laughs> and I just don't feel like that'd be good in a soup. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of chilled soups. I haven't given them a fair go though. N- me neither. Like I don't think I've ever had one and that's not a fair go. Because also to me, soup is a very comforting wintry dish. Mm-hmm. So it would feel weird to make a lot of soup in the summer. Like I do make soups in the summer all the time, but I feel weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel right, but I do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about it in the comments. Chilled if you guys soups. like chilled soups, if you've had any, if you have any recipes to recommend, maybe we will give it a shot. Yeah. You know, we like to try new things. Mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like this is the perfect combination of creamy and not creamy soup. It really is. So good. So good. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it for this video. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. It is linked in the description box below if you want to make it for yourself. If you do make it, let us know. Tag us on social if you post about it. We'd love to hear your thoughts Mm -hmm. and feelings. Definitely your feelings. (laughs) I definitely want to know your feelings. (laughs) I want to feel you. Wow. Okay. (laughs) In the description box below, you will also find a link to our podcast. We talk about things like veganism. We talk about social media, our photography and videography workflow, Mm -hmm. stuff like that. If you're interested in it, check it out. Subscribe to that. And obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel too. Yeah. If there's videos you want to see, recipes, whatever, Wednesdays, whatever, if you're curious about anything about us, how we work, whatever, that you want to see a video made of, leave that down below too. Mm-hmm. We haven't asked for video recommendations in a while. No, we have not. Yeah. But we care about your thoughts. We do care. And also, <laughs> definitely your feelings. <laughs> also, before we go, we have merch, guys. We never mentioned this. We're not wearing any of it, <laughs> but we have merch. So go buy merch. Check it out. And if you like our merch and think we should make more, we would love to make more. 
Yeah, we partnered with Shred Activism, which is an awesome, awesome brand. There's other amazing t-shirts on that site too, so go check out those. They're all vegan. Yes. Okay. That's that's a wrap? Yeah, I think so. It's a wrap. No, it's um, a ramen. It's a ramen. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You can't go. <laughs> it's a ramen. Be sure to place the lid on every once in a while so that the steam can kind of really penetrate those peppers. <sighs> Good choice of word. Yeah. <laughs>